Your biggest threat as a game developer is always working on your baby, but never giving birth. <laughs> Let me show you how to give birth to your first indie game. I've actually released two commercial titles, Pinstripe and Neversong on pretty much every platform, bringing in six figures a year, year after year, in a variety of ways, including publisher partnerships, Kickstarter, platform deals, and obviously, game sales. Tip one is consider your hourly rate as a game developer and how that relates to your budget. But Thomas, I don't have an hourly rate. I'm not even paying myself. I totally get that. I wasn't paying myself for my first title. I was actually working a full-time desk job, probably just like you, or maybe you're a student. But this hourly rate will help you grasp what you're capable of. Let's go with $40 an hour. Let's say you work two hours a day after work or school. That's 40 hours a month. Let's say it takes six months to finish your game. That's 240 hours, which is 9,600 bucks. That is a tiny budget in comparison to Breath of the Wild, a top-notch AAA title, which cost around $120 million to make. So what have we learned here? Your first indie title should be a tiny little game, like the game I made for PewDiePie. It took 14 days, but ultimately skyrocketed my career as a game dev and a YouTuber. And by the way, the 2D game kit that I created for that game is totally free below. You can use it however you want for personal games or commercial games. Click the link in the description. It's my treat to you. Tip number two is don't make everything from scratch. Why? Well, because of our previous point. Making games from scratch is expensive. Here's a really good example. How much would it cost to create, let's say, six sci-fi weapons in Blender? My favorite 3D modeling tool. Think it's free? Think again. Always consider time as money, because it really is. If you're spending time, you're probably ultimately spending money, either now or in the future. It would take you perhaps a full eight hours minimum to create six 3D sci-fi weapons. At your hourly rate, that's 400 bucks. Now, if you're making a highly unique dream project, I get it, this kind of makes sense, but this is your first title. It's best to just get it done, and we'll talk about this laissez-faire attitude in the next point. Instead, I'd suggest using assets from TurboSquid, Sketchfab, and last but definitely not least, the Asset Store. For example, how much is a pack of sci-fi weapons on the Asset Store? Oh look, here's six weapons for $14. They don't look terrible, and you can just swap out the textures, and now they look custom. 99% of players are not going to know you just did this. Wow. You and I, we're going to know, but, but most people don't know. Ultimately, that is 3% of the cost if you are making these custom. Look, I hate to be so money focused, but most game devs don't finish games because they just weren't thinking about the dollar figure. Time is money, and hey, if you don't agree, time is at the very least mental energy. Most of us can't hold up for several years creating a single game. Trust me, my first game took five years and it shouldn't have, and I'll never do that again. And keep in mind, if you wanna save time, again, my game kit is totally free below. It'll save you weeks, if not months of time if you're making a 2D game. All right, that brings me to my third tip. Don't make your first game your dream game. Your first game should be your crap game. What I recommend is just to make a 15 minute game, release it on itch.io and call it a day. For some reason, getting that first game under your belt is really meaningful. Let me know in the comments if you've released a crap game and how you've grown because of it. Also, after releasing your first game, you're likely going to learn your forte. Are you best as an artist, a musician, a storyteller, a game designer? For me, I am a storyteller and an atmosphere designer. That's what I focus on, and I'll likely never change that focus. I know this because I've failed in just about every other aspect of game development. I know what to focus on for my games and what not to, and ultimately, how to convert that focus into income. My next tip relates kind of to your next game and all future games. Once you've actually released a short, crappy game, you can focus on building your dream game. But more importantly, focus on building your dream game prototype. I suggest only focusing on a prototype instead of focusing on a full game because, well first, it's much easier to produce a game in pieces as opposed to, I don't know, stare at the peak all day long hoping that you'll get to the top, AKA release a massive game. 
That said, the primary reason I suggest focusing on a awesome hyper polished prototype is simply because you can take this 15 minute prototype and actually seek funding from Kickstarter publishers or just platforms like Apple Arcade or Epic Games. No, really, I've done all of these things before actually finishing my games. I just offered up a demo, a prototype, the platforms, the publishers loved it, and that secured enough funding for me to quit my job. Once you've secured funding for your demo, finishing the game is actually kind of easy. Why? Because, well, you're obligated to legally and financially. Whether it's the Kickstarter community demanding the game get finished or an investor waiting for your launch, you're gonna get it done, I promise. Money and legal obligation are the best motivators. I know this whole getting funded thing sounds scary, but it's really not when it plays out. It's natural, you're gonna have fun conversations with studios over the phone or Discord. You'll discuss the details of how much money you need to finish your game, any revenue sharing that the platform or the publisher wants at launch, and all that other legal stuff, and you can hire a lawyer for a couple grand to help you iron out all these legal terms. Don't be scared, take it one step at a time, and watch a few of my videos below about publishers in the description. Okay, last tip. This one is huge. Begin building a community. If you're an introvert like me, this sounds pretty awful. This community includes not only friends online that support you emotionally, but also a community of fans that will support your game financially when it launches. When it comes to my friends or the people I work with, I prefer using Discord. Most of my friends in the community are all on Discord. We support each other, provide tips, and we even trade work for each other. If you're looking for a free community, I suggest the Dev Lounge or the Bracky server. If you're interested in a paid community, I have one called Full-Time Game Dev. Also, my friend David Whaley has a community called Game Dev Unlocked. I highly recommend that community as well. But it doesn't matter whether it's a paid community or a free community, so many friendships can be made on Discord. It's a great way to get plugged in almost immediately to the Game Dev community. Now, regarding your community of fans, it honestly comes down to just posting on social media consistently, almost daily, with the proper hashtags, awesome clips of your game or maybe devlogs on YouTube or screenshots. With each post, I suggest a CTA or a call to action. Simply ask the viewers of the post to wishlist on Steam and also maybe to sign up for your email list for a free demo. This fan building is all about consistency, quality content, hashtags, and calls to action. With the right efforts, you'll have thousands of fans ready to buy your dream game when it's ready. Do not underestimate this point. Having a massive splash on launch with the help of your fans helps let Steam or any other platform know that people like your game, thus pushing your game further into the atmosphere during launch week. Those are my five tips. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you felt like I did a good job here. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know below of any crappy games you've launched in the comments and how they've helped you in your career. And also, don't forget about my 2D game kit below. It's totally free. My treat to you. Cheers.